Mexican heavyweight contender Andy Ruiz just scored a 10 round UD over veteran Kevin Johnson. Scores of 97 93 twice and 99 91 in favor of Andy Ruiz. Kevin Johnson is a guy who I think he's only been stopped. Has he been stopped once? Oh, twice. Two people have stopped him. Okay, this guy I don't know. Petar Milas. I don't know him. But obviously I know that Anthony Joshua stopped him. And Milas stopped him earlier this year. So for Andy Ruiz to be going the distance with Kevin Johnson, who is 38 years old now, he's definitely seen better days. And to actually be giving away a few rounds, according to the two of the judges' scorecards here, he gave away a few rounds. That's not really a good sign. Ruiz is a guy with very quick hands, but we all know he's grossly overweight. And I'm not sure if he can ever lose the weight because when you've been big your whole life, it tends to be more difficult. That's what I've noticed. When you see fighters who have been just fat their whole lives. And in fact, I remember fat people from school, right? primary school, high school, 99% of them are still fat now. When you grow up with it, you, your body doesn't know what it feels like to be an athlete. You see, I was someone who I was very athletic growing up. So when I put weight on and got fat, I was able to lose it because my body is that muscle memory. Your body knows how to get back in shape. You know, it knows what it feels like to be able to run 100 meters at a good pace, to run, you know, three, four miles at a good pace. It knows how it feels. But for somebody who's been fat their whole life, your body is not accustomed to that kind of athletic conditioning. So I don't want to be too hard on Andy Ruiz, but his weight is obviously an issue. If he was an athlete with the kind of hand speed he has, the kind of chin he has, because he's always shown a very good chin, and the kind of ability, offensive skill that he has, he'd be a problem. But carrying so much weight around, it really does hinder him. He weighed 257 pounds. Sorry, that's Kevin Johnson. No, Kevin Johnson weighed 257. Andy Ruiz weighed 252. I mean, Kevin Johnson weighing 257, he was way out of shape himself. And Ruiz wasn't able to get rid of him. Yeah, Ruiz weighing in at 252. Unable to get rid of Kevin Johnson. And people have been saying that Ruiz has been getting in better shape and seeing him on social media, posting certain pictures. To me, Andy Ruiz don't look in much better shape now than he's ever looked. You know, he, he looks like he's maybe tried to add some muscle to his upper body, but he still looks way, way overweight. Anyway, get into this actual fight. I didn't see it. <laughs> Here's me rambling on about the Kevin Johnson fight. I didn't actually see it. I have looked on Daily Motion, YouTube, and everywhere that I can to try and find a copy of the fight. I haven't been able to find it. So if any of you know where I can find this fight, then please post the link in the comment section below. I do want to see it, and I would be interested to see how Andy Ruiz is looking these days. But obviously, I've seen him. In terms of the pictures, they've posted pictures of the Kevin Johnson fight and I saw pictures of him, you know, in leading up to the Kevin Johnson fight and footage and training and stuff like that. And he's just way, way overweight still. Anyway, let's get to the title of this video. Andy Ruiz, after beating Kevin uh, Johnson, said that he'd like to face Jarrell Miller. Now, this is a fight that was actually mooted several years ago and I did a video about this several years ago and in the video I said I'd like to see the two fat boys fight you know sometimes when I say the word fat boys people think I'm trying to be cheeky or smart mouthed or whatever it's not even that that's just the way I always talk growing up that's the way we talk amongst you know I talk among my friends and family and stuff like that uh you know when I'd put on weight my brother who hadn't seen me for a while would be like you're looking fat. <laughs> what happened to you? You're looking like a, a, a this, that, and the other. You know, you're looking real fat right now. So that's how we talk to each other. So I don't mean it in a derogatory sense. And obviously my brother, he wasn't really being derogatory. He's just looking at me saying it, saying it as it is that I'd put on weight. And then that made me motivate myself to lose the weight, <laughs> you know? 
So I'm not, I don't mean it in a derogatory sense, uh, but Andy Ruiz and Jerome Miller are fat. And I said in that video a couple of years ago, I'd like to see the two fat boys fight because they can fight. Jerome Miller can definitely fight. That boy's got hands and he's got a chin. He's got stamina. And Andy Ruiz, a similar situation. Andy Ruiz is quicker than Jerome Miller in terms of hand speed. Not quicker in terms of foot speed, but hand speed is quicker. And I'd like to see that fight. I really would. Both guys like to come forward. Both guys bring it. I would probably favor Jarrell Miller in the fight. I just think he's incredibly physically strong. I'm not sure if there are many heavyweights, if any, who are physically stronger than Jarrell Miller right now. He is like a, a linebacker, you know? He's like a, whatever it is, the strongest position on the gridiron, on the football, American football field. The biggest guy, he's like that guy, you know, the nose tackle or whoever it is. He's a very, very physically strong guy. And the way he uses that size to walk people down, put pressure on big guys, guys, you know, guys who are 6'5", 6'6", 230, 240, 250. And he manages manages to ragdoll guys like that. So I think Jarrell Miller would be able to actually push Andy Ruiz back. Ruiz himself has never been pushed back, but I think Miller will be able to do it with his extra size. And incredibly, Miller would make Andy Ruiz look small. Now, Ruiz is about 6'1", 6'2", so he is shorter than Jerome Miller and a, a naturally smaller human being. But in terms of his weight, well, as you heard me say earlier, 2'5", two, 2", he's not a little boy. <laughs> yeah, he's big. So, yeah, he's tw actually 28 years eight of age by now. Jesus. I never realized he was that old now. He's been a pro since 2009, Andy Ruiz. So he's been a pro now nearly 10 years. So he really needs to get a move on. Definitely needs to get a move on. He's had that one title shot against Joseph Parker. But really, if 10 years, only one title shot, he needs to get going. And, and as I said about his weight, you know, he turned pro at 297. He was down to 250 within a year. But since then... He hasn't really gone much lower than that. You know, he's been up and down around the 250 mark since, which makes me believe that he, he really can't go any lower than that. That's as low as he's going to get. I don't think he can get any more off. So, uh, well, not without killing himself. So anyway, let me know how you feel about Andy Ruiz. Are you disappointed in the way that his career has panned out? Were you expecting more from him? How do you think a fight against Jerome Miller would play out? Do you reckon he could beat Jarrell Miller? Do you reckon Miller would beat him? Would it go to points? Would it be a stoppage? How would it go? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's Hatman, I'm out.